Hi everyone, my name is Mehmood Sheikh and from past few videos I have been working on making a video tutorial series using C programming language. In my last few videos I made the discussion on various levels of programming languages which are low programming language, mid programming language and high programming language. I discuss those three levels of programming language in detail if you guys have not seen those videos then i just recommend you guys to watch those videos as well you can find those videos in the same playlist okay so now today in this video i'm going to discuss a topic which is translators okay so before starting this topic i just want to tell you guys that if you guys like this video click on like button share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you guys have any queries then let me know in the comment section now let us start our discussion on translators so here you can see i have listed down few points with the help of these points we will try to understand what is translators are all about okay so first point is translators are system software that converts programming language code into binary format Okay, so as in our last videos, we have seen that computer can understand only the language of binary format, which is in the form of zeros and ones, but we guys cannot write the instructions in the form of binary language. So we write the instructions only in the form of high level language and mid level language. Okay, so there has to be a translator which translates the high level language instructions and the mid level language instructions in a language which can be understandable by the computer and translator does that work okay so the translator translates the high level and mid level programming language into binary format okay. next point is providing diagnostic messages wherever the programmer violates specification of the high level program okay so Apart from translating the high level language and mid level languages into binary format, translators also diagnose the instructions and whenever a programmer violates the rules or the guidelines of programming, so translators highlights those mistakes or errors okay and here as you can see it is also mentioned that translators are system software okay and i have also discussed what is system software in my earlier videos so if you guys have not seen those videos then just i would recommend you guys to watch the video on the system software as well okay now uh, as you can see here the translators are classified into three types okay first one is compiler interpreter and assembler okay so in this video we will restrict our discussion only uh, to compiler and in our next videos we will discuss what is interpreter and assembler okay so now let's move ahead to the next slide now let us start our discussion on the first translator which is compiler okay the first point is a compiler is a system software that translates human readable source code into machine readable code that can be executed by a computer okay yes the same point okay which we guys have already discussed okay so com compiler is a system software uh, that translates human readable source code which means whatever programming instructions either in the form of high level language or middle level language a programmer is going to write uh, those instructions gets read by the compiler and converts that code into machine readable code that can be executed by the computer next point is the source code which is written in high level programming language such as c java or python is transformed into machine code also known as an object code that can be run directly on computer's processor okay so one of the role of the compiler is whatever source code or instruction programmer is going to write using any of the high level programming language like c c++ java python php so this compiler will transform the high level language into machine code or an object code okay and this machine code is a code which can be easily understandable by the computer and then we can directly run that code in a computer's processor next point is the process of transforming the source code into machine code is known as compilation yes okay so i am sure you guys have understood that the process of transforming the source code of high level language into a machine code 
is called as compilation. Compilation takes place in a single step except for those lines which are having errors. Okay. So whenever we complete writing down our source code or program then we need to compile the program. So whenever we apply compilation on the source code so that compilation will takes place in a single step okay and then it will check out of those number of lines in which lines we have encountered or the system has encountered the error okay so it will going to highlight those errors but its execution time is more and occupies the largest part of the memory okay so this can be considered as a disadvantage of compiler that it takes more time because uh, it needs to check whether each and every instruction is been written properly whether is there any syntactical error or is there any logical error in each and every instruction it needs to check all these things okay that's why it takes a little bit of extra time occupies and then largest part and also it it also occupies large memory as well next is it converts the whole program in one session and reports errors detected after the conversion okay so how compilation works is suppose i have completed writing down a program and now i want to compile that program so what i will do i will just click on compile option then compiler will come into the picture and start reading each and every instruction of my program and in whichever instruction it finds an error it will store that error inside the memory okay and then it will move on to the next line if there is nothing problem encounter in that line then it will move on to the next line like this it will keep on encountering each and every instruction and check for the syntactical and logical errors and once the entire program gets compiled then at the end it will give you the details of compilation so if it finds few errors then it will show those set of errors along with the line numbers now the next point is the compiler takes time to do its work as it translates high level code to lower level code all at once and then saves it to memory yes okay compiler takes its time to compile each and every instruction which are written in high level code and then it converts that into a low level code which can be easily understood by the computer and all those things uh, the status of all these activities will get stored inside the memory okay so this is everything about uh, compiler okay so i hope you guys have understood what is compiler now let us move ahead uh, to discuss the next point which is uh, uh, compiler performs several tasks yes. what are those tasks that compiler can perform now the first is lexical analysis okay so compiler performs uh, lexical analysis work that means breaking the source code into individual components known as tokens okay so whenever a compiler encounters few set of instructions then it will use as one of its component like lexical analysis uh, which will break the entire source code into various components and those components are known as tokens okay so in programming we consider token as the smallest building block okay so it reads each and every instruction and then it will just break those instructions into smallest components known as tokens and who does this lexical analysis does this next is parsing analyzing the structure of the code to ensure it is valid okay so next is parsing okay, so how parsing work so in parsing the compiler will analyze the structure of the code it will check whether the syntaxes are properly maintained or not okay the proper keywords are used or not or is there any spelling mistakes in the code okay so it just check whether the written code is a valid code or not okay next is semantic analysis determining the meaning of the code okay so the semantic in the semantic analysis it determines uh, what is the meaning of that code okay next code generation transforming the code into machine instructions okay once these three steps done so then it will do the code generation that means it will transform the code into a language which machine can understand okay now the last one is optimization making the generated code run more efficiently okay if it encounters any errors then notifying those errors to the programmer and then once all the errors gets uh, removed then efficiently executing the generated code okay so these are some of the 
duties of a compiler so this is everything about uh, one of the type of translator which is compiler okay i am sure you guys have understood each and every point regarding translator and compiler okay so that's all for this video guys in my next video i will discuss about interpreter and uh, i will see you guys in my next video and if you guys like this video click on like button share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you guys have any queries then let me know in the comment section and thanks for watching